and I just get some of that in my mouth. Ooh. Come on, son. You're under a microscope all the time. It's not being afraid to lose people. Come on, talk about it. Ooh, my hand is itching. Do that mean some money coming in? So if nobody else has life figured out 100%, who am I to tell myself that I'm late to the game? Elegant, poised, a woman. And I'm giving that vibe today. Like, oh. My beauty, my style, self-growth, my way. Hey, sugar, how, how granny, baby? <laughs> Why am I acting like my grandma right now? What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your very first time, my name is Tony, and I promise y'all, my robe is clean. It's got a little stain right here, and I don't know what it is, but it's clean. So, if you was like, oh, this girl got a dirty stain on her robe, it's clean, I promise you. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump into the get ready with me. I had to prep my eyes off camera because if you've been here, and I say this all the time, Y'all, I haven't really mastered talking and doing my makeup at the same time. Like, I like to do it. I love to get on here and run my mouth while I'm doing my makeup. That's why I always do get ready with me. I have not yet mastered it. Like, this is a skill within itself. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the topic of discussion, which is why I feel like the 30s, baby. Oh, the 30s, they treat me so good. 30s is doing something for me, okay? And I am like just into my 30s, a couple years, just into my 30s. And I am already realizing how much I love my 30s era. First and foremost, and this is just a bonus one, because I got five things I want to talk about specifically as to why I feel like my 30s are better. But let me just give y'all a bonus one real quick. I have absolutely no fear in being myself. I got a lot of quirks about me, okay? I got real silly tendencies, okay? I am not the picture perfect girl who's gonna get on here and be all poised all the time. Like, you know, that's okay to do sometimes, but that is not me. <laughs> that ain't me. <laughs> on a regular basis, that definitely ain't me. I am one of those people who at any given moment, like, I'll bust out into song and dance. I might start singing the theme song to freaking Hey Arnold or something. Like, I just, I am that kind of girl. I am very silly. And even like, as I'm getting older, I'm starting to understand that I am much more sillier than I think I am. Never knew it. Or it's not even that I never knew it. Damn, that just gets something out of my mouth. Ooh. It's not that I never knew it. I think I was just a afraid of showing my true self because you know like let me let me just say this especially in the you know current times that we living in like a lot of the girls you know they look poised they look like they got it all together and on you know for somebody looking on the exterior they think oh okay so in order to you know be successful I gotta act poised all the time or I gotta look a certain way like I definitely, don't get me wrong, I definitely consider myself a high value woman, but I'm a high value woman that's just goofy as hell. Like, that's just who I am. So as I am growing, I am allowing that to be seen, like, fully. I feel like, again, as I have gotten older and I'm starting to really, like, develop into the woman that I am today, I am really beginning to understand, like, First and foremost, what did I ever have anything to hide for? Like, what was I hiding myself from? I think the biggest thing about this era and why I feel more comfortable to just be myself is I have like full blown accepted vulnerability. And I think like, I don't understand why that's something that people fear so much. Like, why be afraid of being who you are just because, what, somebody else gonna look at you crazy? Somebody's gonna have something to say? As I've gotten older, I'm just beginning to realize that I actually find comfort in vulnerability. I'm never about to force myself to be a certain way or act a certain way or feel like I, you know, am approaching everybody else as if I got my life all together. Baby, my life ain't all together. It ain't. Come on, son. Don't play with me today because you got my camera looking all kinds of crazy. You got it looking gray and blue as if we sad. Now you want to pop up and make it seem sunny. Like, come on. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I ain't about to, I'm not about to edit this video down with a whole bunch of color edits because the way that my window is, 
and the way that the sunlight be playing, like, ugh. anyway. So if y'all see my colors going in and out, I, hey, I can't do nothing about the window and I can't change the placement of it. Learning to accept vulnerability has been one of my biggest things that I have enjoyed about my 30s and really just accepting and learning to accept who I am and standing in it 100%. Like I said, one day you might see me being serious. One day you might be seeing me being goofy and that's probably 99.9% .9 of the time. Being in my 20s, I just never felt like I wanted to show that side of myself because I just was so afraid of being judged. So before we, before I look, before I go on a full blown rant and just start, you know, talking about stuff, I'm trying to stay organized in my thoughts because I did write down some notes. So let's go ahead and jump into the five reasons why I say I feel like my thirties are just so fabulous. So number one actually kind of ties into the vulnerability thing. And it's pretty much what I was just talking about. And it's, that I have learned to not be afraid to show who I really am. Like I said, I just kind of touched on that, like speaking about vulnerability and showing up as my true self, but I just kind of want to reiterate that, you know, learning to not be afraid to show yourself is something hard. Like it's really a hard task to accomplish. And that's because again, society has trained us to, what the hell? Where? Hold on, there's a piece of hair right here. Society has trained us to be afraid of like, you know, just being ourselves and be freely willing to be ourselves. I feel like, especially with social media in place, it's just, you know, you're under a microscope all the time, regardless of if you're an influencer or if you're somebody who just gets on there to post just for the hell of it. There's still a lot of people that are afraid to really show up and be their authentic selves. More than ever at this point in my life, at 32, <laughs> this has been my better season because I have learned to accept me. Second thing that has been marvelous in my 30s, is not being afraid to lose people. Come on, talk about it. I am not afraid of losing people. What's Summer, what, what Summer say? She losing people and finding peace. Okay, baby, she ain't afraid and I ain't afraid either. One of my biggest things that I used to think growing up is like, you have to keep all of these relationships going, right? And I'm actually blessed. I can say that the relationships that I have have been maintained for several years. Growing up, I think I had like this misconception in my head that, you know, you had to always keep relationships. And it wasn't until actually my early 20s and mid 20s that I began to start realizing that some of the relationships that you gain, like let's just say, for instance, I gained a lot of different relationships, friendships in my first two years of my college days, but those friendships and relationships, some of them died out. A lot of them died out, actually, if I'm being honest. And I struggled with that because I was like, well, you know, is it my fault? Could I have done more? Like I really began to sit and question myself, trying to figure out like, was I wrong for not keeping some of those relationships and friendships going? Because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like I'm a horrible texter. Ask anybody that knows me, I am a horrible texter at any time on my phone. And I don't know why I do it, y'all. Like, I literally don't know why I do it. At any given time, I can look at my phone and it might show like 16 different messages that I haven't read, 18, 20 different messages. Like, and I literally just don't understand why I do it. I'm trying to get better. I know that I could have done more and I know that I could have done better. But at the same time, I'm like, maybe those relationships just weren't meant to be for whatever reason that's just how it was supposed to be was that they weren't supposed to you know grow with me in my next phase of life so i'm saying all that to say one thing that i really appreciate about my 30s is that i have gotten to a point where i'm not afraid to lose relationships i am okay with where i am in life and how i'm progressing as the woman that I want to be today, because I think that's a big part of it is I really went on this journey. Um, and I'm kind of still on it if I'm being honest, but you know, just figuring out 
the woman that I want to be at this stage in my life, obviously the woman that I want to be now is completely different from the woman that I was in my early 20s. Everything is not meant for every single season of your life. And that's okay. Honestly, there are a lot of times that you'll have or you'll cross paths with different people because you're supposed to learn something from them. And I do feel like I've learned a lot, even from the people that I don't speak to anymore. I learned a lot from those people. So, you know, everything is not in vain. It's really not. You're going to have different relationships and friendships for purposes for you to learn a lesson in your life. Now it's up to you whether or not you gonna catch the lesson in front of you. But at the end of the day, it's really all there for a great reason. And you just have to be able to learn from it. So moving into my number three reason why I feel like my 30s are so much better than my 20s. I have found a certain level of solitude that I just did not know existed. I have always been afraid, and I've probably talked about this on another video, so I'm not gonna go too far in depth about it, but I struggled with being by myself in my 20s. And if you know, then you know, cause like I said, then you've been here, but if not, I got married fairly quickly. And so I went from living with, you know, my mom to living in the dorms to living temporarily with my grandma and then immediately moving in with my boyfriend now husband and we've been married it'll be 11 years this year so for 12 years we have been living together and i never had that time to live alone i, I don't i literally till this day at 32 years old i don't know what it means to live alone i've always lived with somebody so learning solitude for me hella hard like it was hard it was something that i really had to um i really had to learn and i've probably said this too but i'm just gonna use it for an example because i'm thinking about it when i was let's see two years ago no three years ago i took my very first plane ride by myself i've obviously rode planes before but I took my very first plane ride by myself. Do y'all know I sat in that damn window seat and cried? <laughs> and I was I was trying to be a G about it though, so I was like kind of turned like this and I was, you know, looking out the window. Like I knew the people on the side of me was like, what's wrong? You know, I'm good, I'm good. Like <laughs> I was trying to be a G about it because I'm like, uh-uh, ain't nobody gonna see me on this plane crying and think that I'm scared. But y'all, it was just me realizing for the first time in my life, like girl you have never been alone you have never been alone and so since i had that experience three years ago i was like i have got to learn how to be by myself and be comfortable and obviously that's a little hard to do when you're married because my husband is always here my kids are always here outside of you know like when they go to family's houses on weekends and stuff like that but it's something that was very hard to learn but there is a way to learn it and basically how i learned that was like you know any chance that i get being by myself i try not to have the tv on i don't have any kind of noise in the house i just literally sit alone just with my thoughts with no kind of background sound and i think for me i do that because it helped me just begin to navigate who I am. And I think that's when I really, really kind of, like I said, started embarking on this journey about figuring out the woman that I want to be at this point in my life. Because I'm like, dang, you know, I had to realize I've never been alone. So what else haven't I, you know, dealt with in my life? And it was then that I really decided, like I said, to just go on that journey to figure out who I am. As moms and wives and stuff like that, it's kind of hard to do because you get you know, preoccupied with everything else going on in your household that you kind of forget, you know, who you are, where you are, what's going on. And so it's a lot to, it's a lot to deal with at times. But like I said, that was the one thing that I feel like helped me a lot was just learning to sit in silence. Oh my gosh, y'all. I tried this freaking golden hour liquid luminizer by Juvia's Place. Do y'all see that? My number four tip for why I feel like my 30s is better than my 20s. 
is I am not afraid to fail. I struggled with the fear of failure. First of all, my biggest issue out the gate was I'm a perfectionist. I don't do it intentionally. It's just who I am. It is literally my wiring in my DNA. And on top of that, I do not like to accept defeat. So literally, I'm a master at YouTube now. <laughs> but when I first got on YouTube, obviously I had to learn the navigation of everything. I had to figure out how to post videos. I had to figure out my editing style and all of that. There was once, mind y'all, I got a root old computer, okay? So my editing sometimes can take me a while because I have a really old computer. So with that being said, there have been plenty of nights that I have just sat at my computer damn near in tears, frustrated to the T because I couldn't figure something out. And rather than getting up, taking a break, coming back, getting my mind right, I would just sit there until I have it mastered. It is a blessing, but it's also a curse because sometimes in my mind, even after I've worked on something for so long, I will tell myself that it's not good enough. And I'll get in my head and then I'll start second guessing, well, this is not perfect, that's not perfect, this could have been better. And then I have just completely stripped away all of the work that I did. It's a really great quality to have, but I had to learn how to control it because literally it was eating me up some days. Like, you know, just the thought of, well, this is not right, that's not right, but you've done so much work. You literally just spent freaking 12 hours editing a video or eight hours editing a video and rather than praising yourself for even just sticking through with it, you sit there and you tell yourself, well, this could have been better, that could have been better, this is not perfect. Nothing in life is going to be an easy road. Nothing in life. My YouTube has not been easy. It's been a lot of work and it's, it's actually shown me a lot about myself. I'm okay with um with the process i'm okay if i fail i'm okay if a video flops i'm okay if a video doesn't perform like i want it to right out the gate i'm okay because i can still keep moving forward and if you don't take away anything else from this video i really do want you to take away this failure is a guarantee okay it is a guarantee but just like failure is a guarantee, getting up can be a guarantee if you choose to do it. And that's where it comes down to, you have to be willing to get back up and get on your feet and keep on going. But that's a personal choice. And that's one of the bigger lessons that I've learned in my 30s is that failure, like I said, it's gonna happen, but that doesn't define who I am. That doesn't define my overall process. It doesn't define anything about me. What it shows is it shows character. It shows that I'm willing to continue to work for what I want. It shows that I have not given up on myself. And if you want to teach anybody a lesson in life, and as a mother, one of my biggest things that I have taken on to show my kids is that you have to keep getting up and you have to keep being willing to get in the boxing ring, you might get your ass knocked out a couple more times, but you still gotta be able to get in the ring and fight it out until you come on top victorious. My 20s, the fear of failure held me by the neck so strong that I never did any of the things that I really wanted to do. It had a strong hold on me, okay? And let me tell you something right now, if fear has a, a strong hold on you, maybe let it go, try not to tear up talking about this right now because fear will keep you bound something ridiculous it will have you thinking that you have no self-worth that you are you know a nobody that you aren't willing that you have no determination about yourself it will literally suffocate you until you are not breathing but as long as you tell yourself i am willing that's all you need. I truly feel as though God didn't want me to learn this lesson 
in my 20s because I probably would have not been a believer like I am now. But my last and final tip on why I feel like my 30s have been much better. Ooh, my hand is itching. Do that mean some money coming in? This is the biggest lesson that I've learned. One of the biggest lessons, probably the biggest lesson. I don't know. It's like top five, top two. I don't know. It's up there. It's really up there. But it is, I have released the thought of feeling like it's too late. Time was created by man, okay? God did not create time and that is literally in the Bible. The true timekeepers were the sun and the moon. Day and night, that is literally time. While we constantly be running around here thinking, oh, we gotta have life figured out by 30. We gotta have this by 30. We gotta have that by 30. That is a lie. Who really has life figured out? Even the most financially secure person right now does not have life all the way figured out. We're all going through something at the end of the day. We are all going through some thing, regardless of if it's finances, relationships, kids, marriages, whatever the case, we're all going through something and nobody has life figured out 100%. So if nobody else has life figured out 100%, who am I to tell myself that I'm late to the game? Are we here? Because I'm trying to be here, not over there, and not back there. I'm trying to be right here, okay? You are not too late. Again, like I said, I'm 32, y'all. I don't have no shame in saying that. I'm 32 and I'm so grateful. Like, hell, I could be a thousand years old right now. Who knows? Like, who really knows? We don't We don't really know because like I said, time is man-made. So I could be a thousand. I could be 1300 years old right now. But what I want y'all to understand is you are the only one who can define where you are in life. You're the only one who can judge that. Wherever you are in life, that's exactly where you're supposed to be. Whether you want to admit that to yourself or not, wherever you are in life, that's exactly where you're meant to be. Now, if you wanna change that, you can, and you have full capability to do so. We think that we're supposed to live our best life in our 30s. Well, sometimes that is, sometimes it don't work like that. Sometimes you have to wait until your 40s or your 50s in order to get to that point in life. But the, the thing about it is, and at the end of the day, you have to be willing to keep going after what it is that you desire. I don't know what I was listening to the other day, but they were even saying like, you know, some guy was saying, he knew CEOs who were 30 and died at 50. And he knows CEOs who didn't become CEOs until their 50s and they're still living and they're 90 plus years old. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what age anything happens. I gotta say one more thing. I got to say one more thing, but let me go ahead and wrap up my face. I'm pretty much done anyway. I just gotta throw on some bronzer on my eyes and a lip and we'll be right back. Come on, son. I need you, son. Come on, son. You pop out. All right. Come on out. All right, you guys. So that is the... Hold on. Let me make sure I ain't got lipstick on. Peace. We good. I feel like it's not enough sunlight in there. Anyway, that is it for the Get Ready With Me today on my five reasons why I feel like my 30s are so much better than my 20s. Baby, when I say I am in my unstoppable season. Oh, there you go, son. Come on out. I am in my unstoppable season, y'all. And I want y'all to take that away from this video. You've got to get to a point where you are also in your unstoppable season of life. So whatever you need to do to get to that point, whether it's whether you got to do a self-reflection or change up your ways, change up how you move and whatever it is, you need to get to that point in your life where you feel like you're in your unstoppable season as well. So that is all I have for you guys today. Comment down below. Tell me if y'all think that some of my five reasons why I feel like my 30s are better 
that you agree with. Maybe you don't agree. Maybe you in your 20s, honey, and you doing a damn thing. Like, whatever stage in life you are in, just kill it. And that's all it is to it. Like, just take it by the horns and kill it. I feel like I talked all that stuff about being an elegant, poised woman, and I'm giving that vibe today. Like, <sighs> no, I'm just playing with y'all. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, that is all I have. If you've been here before then, baby, you already know what I'm about to say. But if not, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, baby. And also make sure that you are hitting, hold on, I had to swallow spit, hitting that notification bell as well so you can see when the videos is going up on my channel, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and head on out. Cause guess what, I'm hungry. But anyway, like I said, love y'all. Till next time, bye.